look at this White House's position on whistleblowers and on journalists. You had the, uh, the seizure of the Associated Press phone records. Uh, you have record numbers of uh, prosecutions uh, and indictments under the Espionage Act. Um, you have what I, what I think amounts to a criminalization of independent reporting. This White House seems intent on having the only information that journalists have access to official leaks. Um, and when it is meant to make the, uh, the White House look noble and saving the world for peace, freedom and democracy. And any independent reporting or talking to sources that are not official uh, is frowned upon and at times prosecuted. Uh, there was a recent court decision that I think is very disturbing. Uh, James Risen of The New York Times has been ordered to testify against a source of his, who was a whistleblower. Um, you have Bradley Manning's uh, trial coming to a conclusion. The charge against him of aiding the enemy boils down to an assertion that uh, anyone who provides information on the Internet that then can be read by a terrorist is somehow aiding the enemy. They're actually contending that Bradley Manning, in leaking the diplomatic cables, uh, aided Osama bin Laden directly, because Osama bin Laden was reported to have read some of the WikiLeaks cables. If that charge sticks, it should be chilling not just for journalists, uh, but for the public at large, when, in a day of social media when everyone is a journalist of sorts. Um, so this uh, administration has been utterly shameful in its approach toward a free press, uh, toward whistleblowers, and it, it fundamentally undermines the notion that we have a free press in a democratic society. The fact that they had a Yemeni journalist jailed in a Yemeni court and kept him in prison there and are now deeply concerned uh, and, and upset that he's been released speaks volumes about this administration's attitude toward journalists.